Damn, we sure printed a lot of money in the last few years, but how problematic is this? In this edition of 3 Minute Myth Busting, we cover the USA is bankrupt, right? One of the most important ways of learning to think in a macroeconomic sense is understanding fallacies of composition. A fallacy of composition is the error in thinking that what's true for one person is true for the whole. The classic example is when one person stands up at a sporting event and then everybody around them stands up. Their view is no better than it was before, but now they're all standing. They're all worse off because of this one person's action. In this case, we often imply that what's true of a household is true of an aggregate sector or even a government, and that's simply not true. For example, look at this chart of household and nonprofit organizations' total liabilities compared to total assets. You'll notice that they always go up in the long run, because while the liabilities grow, the assets also grow. In other words, they don't get paid back. In fact, they can't get paid back, because then there would be no assets or liabilities inside of the whole economy. People often look at the liability side and debts and assume that this is all bad, but remember that liabilities also have corresponding assets. It's not that assets and liabilities are necessarily or inherently bad. It really depends on what they're used for in the long run. While aggregate sectors like the household sector or the corporate sector don't pay back their debts, the government sector is particularly unique. Governments are essentially nonprofit entities. They are especially good for projects with a negative net present value. So for instance, things like fighting a war or putting out fires, things that the private sector doesn't want to do specifically because they're hard to generate profits from. Governments generally choose to borrow, and in the cases of some emerging markets, they benefit from borrowing in a foreign currency, which can be problematic. But remember, the government has the printing press. They can literally print the money if they want to fund their own spending. So governments don't pay back their debt, and they don't necessarily even need to fund their spending by issuing debt, but this doesn't mean that government spending can't cause big, big problems. The risk to the government balance sheet is not that they're going to run out of money, but actually that they might create too much money, thereby creating hyperinflation. The purpose of this video isn't to imply that government spending can't cause big problems, but we need to have more balance in these discussions. Democrats too often tell us that government spending can do no harm, and Republicans too often tell us that government spending is always harmful. And while there's some truth to both of these statements, reality is usually something closer to the middle. Was that the best three minutes you've ever experienced? 